Hey Ubers, uh, Vivian here. I just wanted to share with you a quick Sizzix tutorial. I recently went to Aaron Brothers and picked up some heavily discounted photo frames, 8x10s, and I thought it would be great to capture some of the summer fun I've been having using some Sizzix dies and embossing folders that were created with Jelly Bean Soup. You can see here I have a cute little photo frame. It's a Thinlitz die number 660419 and I sandwiched the die and cardstock in between my two cutting pads and placed that on top of my magnetic platform and then sent it through the Sizzix Big Shot. You can see there it's very cute. I'm planning on putting a whole bunch of photos in one frame, so I'm die cutting several of those using just all my scraps, and you can see a bunch of them in the uh, right on the right side of the screen there. Um, and I'm also going to use the square leftovers from those die cuts with this embossing folder from Jelly Bean Soup and Sizzix. It's number six six zero four two three, and it's called Postage Slash Telegram. And I really like this embossing folder because it's got several different patterns in one folder. So if you're working on a smaller scale, um, you get a lot of bang for your buck. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different patterns here in one embossing folder. I've got my multi-purpose platform open to tab one. I've placed my cardstock scraps inside my embossing folder and sandwiched that between my two cutting pads and then sent it through my Big Shot, open to tab one. These are all scraps, but they happen to all be scraps of cardstock that's either color core or craft core. And um, the fantastic thing about that is that you can sand away the raised surface after you've embossed and it'll really make those embossed patterns pop. After die cutting a bunch of these cute little photo frames, I had lots of perfectly square pieces as leftovers, as well as lots of um, copies of the word love. So I basically used all of those to create my composition, and I used this sort of film strip background as a grounding piece. And now I have uh, several of my summer memories documented in one frame. I hope you enjoyed my video, and you'll check out some Sizzix and Jelly Bean soup, dyes, and embossing folders in our newest release. Thanks so much. Bye.